up guys, Tip Bob Zero back with another awesome video, and I know for a while I just made like a bunch of random videos reviewing stuff like movies, food, um, albums, actually not really albums until today, which is, this is gonna be the Astro World uh, review from me, like my personal opinion on the album. Um, but like I used to always make videos where I didn't really have any context what like the name of the thing would be. I I have a name that I might change uh, like might start calling all my like reviews on anything. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm if 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 I use the title like for like the name for like the reviewing stuff I'll put it in the title you'll see the actual name. But that might not actually come. We'll see. Um, and if it does, if I use it on this video and it, like it actually looks nice, like people seeing it and saying it looks nice, I might just use it for all my other um like movie reviews, food reviews, stuff like that. But let's get right into the album review on Astro World by Travis Scott. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but I used to always question when I listened to his music, like even on featurings, why he said Astro World, because I didn't really understand not only what it was, like the Houston, Texas um, theme park that got closed, but I also didn't know like what he meant by always bringing it up. Like, was it like his um, sort of um, way of saying he's in the song, like his um, like little label, I guess, not Travis Scott, but he's always saying Astro World because like he's a big fan of the place. But now we finally re well I figured out recently when he posted the teaser trailer showing this like him in the actual place, like a little like snippet of the actual album and stargazing. He uh, I figured out the that was the name of his album coming out uh, yesterday or today actually. But um, it's actually a pretty good album. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when I first saw the uh, album covers, because well, he showed like a bunch of pictures, like different types of the picture, I was questioning what the actual album would be. But when he dropped it today, it is like this like vibrant, colorful, actual like Candyland Paradise. I guess like it's it's really like it looks nice, like appealing to the eyes, and you see the album. But even the music itself is more appealing than just the album cover. So we start off in the album with star stargazing, which to me. I think his is his, his like his track that's gonna be not blow up because obviously other songs have blown up like the one Sicko Mode with Drake is obviously the re like the number one song that he had blow up today because everyone well what he did was actually pretty crazy or I think it's a good um way a friend of mine was just saying this this morning how he doesn't have the featurings on like the title and at least in Apple Music he doesn't it doesn't show like featuring Drake featuring Migos featuring Frank Ocean it just makes it look like it's it's one of his own music but. Obviously, you'll hear in the songs a bunch of like, featurings. He even has people like Stevie Wonder and Sway Lee and Juice World that's in one of the songs. It's actually a pretty good album because like I think the featurings are like nice musicians and it's a big contrast. Like having people, you hear people from the first song, Juice World, and then you hear Stevie Wonder playing. I mean, you don't really hear, I guess, his voice, but and there's even Beastie Boys tracks in the one. Um, I think Andy's got the weekend with um that he has the weekend. It's really and B Beastie Boys like repeat on loop. So a lot of songs are actually really good on this album. My personal favorite are Wake Up, R uh, Rest in Peace, Screw and stargazing I, I know people are gonna say oh stargazing is the mainstream one and it's like the only thing people are gonna say about if they actually don't listen to his music that much but personally stargazing has like the, the signature beat like it's actually i know everything he made on here is like about what he likes and like his sort of style and it's, it's all like really vibrant and contrast to each other it's very really unique and different but not everyone's gonna like every song like personally i don't know i don't like the um super slow songs or the creepy um zany like freak show sort of song i'm trying to remember the name but it starts with, it's uh i think it's five percent tint or probably something different that's not that but i don't know uh all in all i guess to say the least the album is something that he took out of his comfort zone and i can't say when i first heard it that i liked everything but it wasn't at the same time better than uh, birds in the trap but it was better than other songs from like albums he's made in the past um the featurings like i was saying are really good like this the people that what they sing in the background the people that are featured is actually really good i like uh the the sort of mellow bar tone with weekend and spray lee on wake up he does a couple songs like that but um, that song actually reminds me of some, like, some stuff, uh, the Sway Lee and Khaled song that's on the Black Panther Various, uh, artist album. That is what reminds me so much of it, and it's not even, like, either of those people. I mean, Sway Lee's on a couple tracks, but it's, it's got, um, uh, what's his name? The Weeknd, which is actually pretty crazy, um, how things can sound so similar, but at the same time be different, completely different albums. But, all in all, this album is, a uh, like, it's a step up from other things, but it's not a complete, like, 10 out of 10 I, in my personal opinion i like some songs i like i don't like some songs it's just how you feel about certain things i 
think Travis went his own direction with this. Um, obviously, he makes like appeals with everybody. I think with uh, sicko mode and stargazing, like because everyone I don't know everyone seems to like Drake with the last couple of things he's done, like Scorpion, and um, like featurings on other things, and like I don't know his songs blowing up like in my feelings, I guess, but. Uh, I guess comparing this to the other year albums, I shouldn't really like compare him to other artists because everyone else is unique in their own way. Um, this album personally is better than like uh, Scorpion, I guess, but it's not better than uh, personally. I like like Beer Bongs and Bentleys that came out this year. I don't know. Everything sort of connected in a way because he had a theme for that. This is obviously the same theme, like same direction with themes on stuff. This stuff too, where the theme is like zany, uh, kooky, crazy. I guess it's sort of mellow, but at the same time. It has like those crazy pop in your like in your face tracks, just like a theme park has like the um, excitement of a ride and it's like you gotta hold on for one crazy hell of a ride. He even met, has like a like a little um, paragraph essay he says on like in the Apple Music where it says the actual track on the album. It like talks about how he makes this. He's like telling his daughter like in the future, hold on, this is one crazy ride. Which the whole album is it's a crazy like ride. There's like ups and downs. There's twists. There's turns. There's loop de loops. I like everything, how it all sticks together, sort of like Beer Bunks and Bentleys, how that was, like, all, like, getting over what happened before, and, like, he step up in, like, in, like, the, um, the tour bus sort of thing, where he's, like, always in the run, always in the move, always making new stuff, like, on that grind, I guess. This is completely different, but it's at the same time, it's in the same style, how you have everything fit together, and, like, the way that a theme park would have stuff that all goes together somehow. So, um, me personally, I give this a... Uh, 7 out of 10 for like I don't know I like how there's one a little bit of everything for everyone I I think anybody who listens to this and doesn't really know much about Travis Scott there's at least one song on here that you should like and I'm not saying a specific one because everyone has different tastes in music but there is like something for everybody who likes any type of stuff because not only does Travis rap but he sings like slow songs he sings like crazy fast in your face beats that aren't like sort of like a pop track and not just rap but at the same time it keeps this like sort of icon still in the background of travis obviously likes to be known as a rapper and i mean in his own way he's definitely that's still a crazy good rapper but it's not as like rap rap type um rap style in your face as birds in the trap that was like where he's really showing off how much he can rap and stuff i guess and like crazy beats with his own voice this is like mellow and a little bit crazy and at the same time a little bit like like slow songs it's actually like a little more personal album i don't know why i didn't say this, think of this earlier but it's more personal than any other like album he's done before and like talks about like personal things that happen to him personal people he feels towards like family members not specifics but like other people who i'm pretty sure have passed away considering there's a song called rip screw but I don't know. It's just everything really, like in my opinion, goes together well. That contrasts, like, like, like I was saying before, like a roller coaster, ups and downs. Like how you'll feel, like completely different from hearing one song like Sicko Mode, and then you go into the Five Percent song. Things are just really different on each one, and I don't know. I like it. Um, is it worth the hype? I hype that I, we've had for like the last four days when he gave us that teaser. I think yes and no. I think yes, that teaser got us really hyped when I heard the beat for uh, uh, Stargazing. And that's my favorite song, I think, still on the track, um, the album, just because the, the um, beat in the track is just really good, and I don't know. It just really feels like I, I've, i like, can, like, listen to this all day, like, I don't know, like, the, that, that beat is just really good, and, like, but there's other songs, like, everyone doesn't like as much, but, like, they'll obviously, like, rise in popularity. I think the Drake song's what's gonna currently, like, be the number one everyone's gonna hear. Oh my god, Drake's on this collabing. Because the, the crazy thing about the Drake song is they're completely opposite sides. You have Travis, like, really going crazy with this, like, like sort of crazy vibe. And then Drake's, like, at the slow one, like, remember, nonstop. It's sort of, like, been, like up and down, like, hmm, 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 Like, I don't know. It's a good contrast in that song, and I like that a lot, how... He can contrast himself in a song and it's like showing both uh, artists together from other people. Like he can contrast himself like going crazy on his side and then Drake has like the mellow bars and the same with The Weeknd and him and like other stuff about like the um, um, wake up song. I don't know. This album's pretty good. You should go listen to it. I would definitely personally download it if you have Apple Music or something like Spotify. Listen to this and then give us your own personal opinion on how I feel in the comments. Let me know if you disagree or agree. Like the video if you are uh, have a, enjoyed this. Uh, if you aren't, if you are new, Hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell notification uh, button to know whenever I upload a new video and you'll see it on whatever device you're watching. And that's going to be it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.